Hi everyone, welcome to, yeah, a new vlog. It is Saturday. Um, I think I put this in my wrap-up video that'll be on sun the past Sunday for you. But my phone died yesterday, so I had to go get a new one, and I'm hoping this one is just as good video camera and microphone-wise as the other one, if not better. So, if it's not, I apologize. Please bear with me. Um, I had lots of filming to do today, and I did most of it. Um, like I said before, September's really busy work for me, work-wise, so I uh, had things that I had to kind of pre-film. And all that stuff. But I am today actually working on Sanctuary by Karen Lick. She was in the TBR and Beyond Book Group uh, earlier this week chatting. And I hadn't read it yet, so that was was disappointed. But it's really, really good so far. It's like kind of either Darkest Minds or X-Men meets Illuminae with like maybe a little bit of like Nixia Unleashed kind of elements. It's really cool so far. And I'm a, probably like two-thirds of the way through it. So gonna keep working on that tonight and then I have lots of editing to do and tomorrow I want to start the fiery cross at least and make sure to read Watchmen so I will touch base if anything changes hi everyone um it is Sunday afternoon I am in the middle right now actually of making some soup so I made like found these like really cool recipes online this weekend of making like a tuna melt but in muffin format Really excited. So I made a bunch of that. Now I'm making soup, so I have food for the week. Um, but yesterday, actually, I finished Sanctuary. I can't remember if I said that or not. But really, really good. And I was going to start watching this morning, but I had a bunch of running around to do that I kind of forgot about yesterday. So instead, I have, uh, whilst running back and forth between stores, and then once I finally got home, picked up the physical book, um, The Fiery Cross, and I'm almost done Chapter 8, which is almost so page 86 which i'm just my goal is to get to page 150 because once again it's outlander like chapters like end on like line like on a little show in there like it ends and then like the next line is like oh chapter nine you don't get those like three page fillers and it's like size 10 font type size <laughs> so just gonna keep working on that and my goal is to just get it done before the end of the month but I actually realized I've like read most of my TBR for this month um, I've just got speaker the shadow queen throne of glass left for the most part um, and hopefully I can get to sweet black waves as well um, and then watchmen and I'm like what is it? it's like there's still like a, a week and a half left so I don't know we'll finish all these and see what I feel like reading but that's what I've been doing, and just cleaning and adulty stuff. So, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow, I guess. Oh, Hermione's down. Sorry, girl. See y'all tomorrow. Hi, everyone. It's, uh, it's still Sunday, but I am tapping out. But I got to chapter 19, actually, which is page 100. And 89, which was like way farther than I was thinking I would get. So I'm happy putting the bookmark in there. And I don't know, maybe I'll watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Or maybe To All the Boys I've Loved Before. By the way, that movie is adorable. It came out on Friday, and I'm fairly certain I've watched it, like, at least twice every single day since. Um, yeah, I'm going to watch something. But I'm going to have some dinner and chill out. And that is the end of my extra long weekend, and I have to go back to the real world tomorrow and work tomorrow. So, we'll see what I get done. Hi everyone, it is Monday afternoon, uh, or no, evening. I am home from work. Um, I'm just in a not doing anything mood. So, I got a bunch of Philip DeFranco videos to catch up on. And I actually have gotten to chapter 25 of The Fiery Cross, which is... Ugh. Or, sorry, to the end of chapter 25. Sorry. So chapter 26. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Which is start of part 3. And, uh, give it a date. But yeah, so. I'm just going to put the bookmark in here. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to start throwing a glass tomorrow. Yeah. We'll start. It only, only takes me a day to read. So tomorrow is throne of glass day. So, yeah, I'm just super tired. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, everyone. It is Wednesday. I'm sorry. I think I forgot to vlog yesterday. Um, I came home and finished reading 
the Rowan of Glass and then went and watched Crazy Rich Asians <laughs> for the third time. But it's cool because I woke up to news this morning that they're developing a sequel. So for the win, I'm anticipating lots of Astrid and Charlie, which I'm so excited for. Um, and it's the same director. So I have lots of faith in this, that they're going to do a good adaptation of China Rich Girlfriend, which... That is not a phrase I ever thought I'd say. So I am working on chapter 30 right now of The Fiery Cross. And that's what I'm just going to keep working on um, for the rest of the evening. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to work on The Shadow Queen, finally. Freaking has taken me forever to get to this book. But that is the plan. So I will touch base before I head to bed and let you know um, where I land in Fiery Cross. But really cool thing, too, was I submitted my um, pre-order receipt for um, for Amuse of Fire by Heidi Heelig, and she was, like, super fast. And the pre-order swag for her is really cool. She immediately sent me, like, the MP3 files of the songs related, that, like, they recorded songs for her book, I guess. And then she sent me, I got it, like, within two weeks, bookmark with her signature. You can see that there for Amuse of Fire. And then the sheet music to the songs that she sent the MP3 for, so... It's actually really cool. That's kind of a unique thing. So, yeah. I mean, I can't read sheet music, and I don't know how to play a musical instrument, but it looks antique and cooly and poshy as hell, so I'm all here for it. So, going to keep working on Fiery Cross, and that is all I'm doing tonight. Hi, everyone. Just checking in on Wednesday evening before I go to bed. I got a buttload of reading done tonight on The Fiery Cross, so I read, like, I think over 200 pages, actually. I got to start out chapter 43, which is page 447, so I am, I think, probably finally halfway, which I'm very happy with. I might actually, no, hmm, probably not, probably not get done this done. Eh, depends how much reading I do on Friday. I don't know. But, or depends how much time it takes me to read The Shadow Queen. So I'm going to start this tomorrow. I'm really, really curious. I hope I like it. And, yeah, that is me wrapping up my Wednesday. I am going to pass out now. As long as Watson doesn't try and jump out the window. Watson, what you doing? <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Thursday. I did it. I finished it. I started this morning and finished like an hour ago. And then I hung out with my neighbor's dog for a little bit. And so I, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Also, why did no one tell me that there were dragons in here before? I would have freaking read it faster if I knew there were, well, I guess, were dragons. Yeah, so finished it. And tomorrow. Um, I don't think I really have enough time tomorrow to read half of an Outlander book. That's like 500 adult book pages. So, actually, I was thinking today, it's been like, woo, two months or so since I read any of the Sherlock Holmes stories. Which, I said I was going to do that once a month, I think, and that's just not happened. So, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I don't even remember where I left off. I... Oh, okay. Left off on... Ooh! Falling down. Uh, the Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. I think there are, like, several stories within there. So... Actually, I think it's, like, about a hundred pages worth in the anthology. Oh my god, this is exactly when they start using their food and water dishes. Yeah, so there's the Memoirs, and then I think it's the Return. I think they're, like, it's, like, a hundred, a hundred and fifty pages difference. Let me double check. Oh my god, page numbers, come on. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I can do that tomorrow, is try and read the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. And I'll be happy with that. And hopefully I can get um, the Fire Cross done. Oh my god, I just realized why that the book is named the Fire Cross. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish. That is honestly embarrassing. Oh my god, Watson! Yeah, so I'm going to read Sherlock Holmes, finish The Shadow Queen tonight, really happy with that. And now I'm going to let my dogs eat as loudly as they want, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Friday. Um, I did like editing of the vlog today, and it's like eight minutes long. I had just like, no, I just didn't do anything this week. 
and I forgot to vlog even on Monday. So we're going to just mush up weeks again. Um, I'm actually really excited. Today, my copy of Dairy to Lie by Amber Lynn Natush, I think is how you say her last name. It's a Veronica Mars inspired book, and I'm so here for this. And, um, and Mirage by, oh, I'm going to butcher her name. I don't know. I'll put the cover here for both of them so you can see which ones I'm talking about. But they both ship today. I'm so excited. Um, I think they might actually get to me on the release day of Mirage. I think Mirage comes out the week after of Dear You to Life. I don't know. Nonetheless. So yeah. And I was going to just like, I had lots of busy work today at work. So I was going to listen to audiobooks for Sherlock Holmes. And I did. I listened to the first, I want to say three. Let me check the index. So I listened to Silver Blaze, The Yellow Face, uh, Stockbroker's Clerk, and Gloria Scott. So I got the first four done. Um, and then in my recommended videos feed, all of a sudden it popped up as Music Video Idol by BTS. And I went, BTS has a new music video? And then I blacked out and fell down that rabbit hole for basically the rest of the day. And I just really want to clean, actually. I'm in a cleaning mood. So I'm going to try and get through the rest of these throughout the rest of the weekend um and I'll actually be really happy with that to finish the memoirs and so that and I want to try and get drums of autumn done this weekend that is my goal um so I'm okay with like just binging the hell out of my BTS playlist and probably some Blackpink this, e this evening and cleaning my apartment head to toe um and yeah, so this video will go up this next Friday because I just, just seemed kind of pointless and like there was nothing particularly exciting. Um, so yeah, gonna listen to a bunch of K pop tonight, I guess, essentially, and then this weekend, hopefully, maybe I'll finish this on Saturday and then do like a quarter of the Fire Cross and then finish the Fire Cross on Sunday or split them up between the days. I don't know, we'll see, but. That is the plan, because then I have, like, what is it, until next Friday or next Thursday to get through The Speaker and Watchmen. So, actually, I may read Watchmen this weekend, too, because it's a graphic novel. Oh, okay. I have a kind of particularly boring life, unfortunately, <laughs> especially this week. So, yeah, that's Friday, and I'll talk to y'all later. And go watch BTS if you've never seen or heard of them, because... I know, I know K-pop is so manufactured, but it's so catchy. I don't understand it. And I'm just so attracted to the entire group of BTS somehow. I don't even understand how that's possible. And honestly, Blackpink. I mean, the girls are, oh my good lord. I fell down the K-pop rabbit hole, guys, the other month, and it doesn't seem like I'm coming out. So, yeah. Hi, everyone. It's still Friday evening now. Um, I actually did get a decent amount of reading done. I binged a bunch of BTS, and then I took a little bit of a break and walked the dogs and everything. Um, and I actually got to all the way up till the final problem, which is the last story in the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. I think that's where he, like, kills himself. So, or, is it kills himself or Moriarty kills? one or the other. So I'm going to read that tomorrow morning, actually, before I do um, the filming of my review video, whatever it is. And I'll be happy with that, actually. I got a lot more done. And now I'm going to go back and start binging some more BTS. I've fallen down a K-pop hole. I'm drowning. Someone help me. No, don't help me. I'm okay living like this. <laughs> Mommy gets up and you immediately take her spot. Good morning. Hey everyone, it is Saturday evening. I am, I've actually been reading like all day. So I am going to put the bookmark in now. I got to chapter 72, so page 626 in The Fiery Cross, which was way more than I thought it was going to. Oh, look at you, cutie pie. But yeah, so I'm putting the bookmark in there, and I read more here than I thought I was going to, so I'm just going to read this, and yeah, that's been my Saturday, super wild and crazy, I'm going to make some dinner now, and probably finish actually the fire cross tomorrow, if not on Monday at the very latest, which I'm really happy with, but I think tomorrow I am going to start the speaker, at least start it, um, I'm really excited about that book, so 
Yeah! Hi everyone, it is Sunday afternoon. I haven't gotten any reading done whatsoever. Um, I kept waiting all morning for it to rain because it's supposed to thunderstorm. I kept waiting and waiting. So I was just like cleaning and doing like adulty stuff inside. And then I finally was like, okay, I guess it's not going to rain. And then I went, took the dogs for a walk and halfway through, started downpouring. So I'm just not in the mood right now. So I'm, yeah, I'll start the speaker tomorrow. I'm just going to take the day off, I think. I still have to do all my cooking for the week for lunches and everything, so, and it's 2.30, oh, I forgot to eat lunch, so, and now my house smells like wet dog, so, that's been my day so far, so, you know, I got a bit of Outlander done yesterday, I'll read a bit of Outlander tomorrow morning before work, and, um, then I'll work on the speaker once I get back home, I think, after work, and once I'm finished that, I'll, uh, power through, I think, the fire across and get it done by the end of the week. Hey everyone, it is Monday evening actually, I'm about to head to bed, um, but I got 162 pages in on the speaker. Um, I spent an atrocious amount of today doing like, just marathoning a bunch of BTS music videos. I've fallen down this hole so hard and I have zero help getting out, nor do I want it. So I guess I just have to like marathon their music videos until they annoy me but i don't know if that's ever gonna happen all that's happened is i can now distinctly name the seven different one of them while they're dancing around insanely but yeah so i'm gonna keep working on the speaker tomorrow morning before work and um maybe finish it tomorrow that'll be the goal i think i think i can actually do that um and then I'm not going to start any more books. I would just want to finish the Fire Cross after. And if I hadn't discovered BTS, I would have been okay. If you don't know what BTS is at this point, there are seven boy, seven member kit boy band group from South Korea, and I'm freaking in love with them. And they released a new song like last Friday. Actually, it's now like the has the highest number of views for a video debut in like 24 hours, something like that. It's insane. Beat out Taylor Swift. But, yeah, so, gonna keep reading, and I'm heading to bed, and I will see you all tomorrow. I don't think I'll have any mail tomorrow. The package that I do have in the mail is probably gonna be here on Wednesday, though. It's, um, my copy of Dare You to Lie by Amber, and it, oh, Amber Lynn Natush, I think is her last name, which is supposed to be, like, a Veronica Mars, why I missed her. I'm so freaking excited. Oh! And my copy of Mirage, so I will be very excited when they show up. And hopefully they show up by Wednesday. Yeah, that's that's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Tuesday afternoon. I got back from work and walked the doggies for a little bit. Um, actually, while doing that, I finished The Speaker by Tracy Chi. I'm going to have to read this one again, I think. It's so beautifully written, but I was just so not in the mood for this. Because, like, my brain is literally, if you could, like, bloop, TV screen comes out of my brain, all you would see are BTS videos, which is incredibly confusing to my brain to switch from, like, deep, dark, passionate, innocent, crazy situation to K-pop. Oh, my good lord. I've fallen just this hole. It's never, it's just getting deeper. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow, though. I have, like, four hours of driving to do for work. It's going to be all BTS. All BTS, my RM. Um, and so I don't know that I'll get any reading done tomorrow, but I think my books are going to be here, which I'm very excited about. Mirage got released today, actually, and Dare to Lie comes out next Tuesday. So I'm so excited they're coming. Um, yeah, and then I just have to finish working on The Fiery Cross and... Uh, Tuesday's video went up today, too. I realized on, like, Monday morning that I kind of forgot slash got lazy this weekend and forgot to film my September TBR video, which was I was planning on putting up. So that's going to come, like, next Tuesday, which is only a couple days into September. But, um, yeah, that'll be fine. That's life. Um, so, yeah, that's... 
kind of it. And I think today's video was the virtual unhauling one that went up. And I apologize in advance. The, the quality of the video was just not good. But I was in a new space and I kind of needed to sit down to do it. Which So it was kind of the only space with any lighting that came in. But it was too much lighting. And then I had a new phone. I didn't know how it was going to work. So apologies. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday. Um, yeah, I didn't read anything this morning and I just did like five and a half hours of driving. So I'm tired. I'm not doing anything tonight. But I just got home. So excited. My package is here. And. Woo! My god, stop including coupons. For things that you can only use on not books. Oh, these books are smaller than I thought they were going to be. So I have Dear You to Lie by Amber Lynn Nittush. I'm so excited about this. Fans of Riverdale will adore Kylene Danners and devour the suspense. And yeah, so Riverdale and Veronica Mars. I'm so excited for this book. Oh my god. And she's originally from Canada too, so... Love that. I'm super excited. So excited to read this. And the beautiful baby that came out yesterday. Oh, I wish the, the like, um, flower was lifted in, like, foiled gold the way the text was. I feel like that would look really, really cool. But it's very pretty nonetheless. I'm, yeah, once again, it's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. But I'm so excited. I like the, the feel of the, the cover, though. It's kind of velvety. Oh. So yeah, those are my books, and I'm going to keep working on the Fire Cross starting tomorrow. Um, and I am just going to chill out tonight and have a night off and deal with editing and work and life tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Thursday evening. I just got back from, from work and walking the dogs. Um, I got a hole one more chapter through the fiery cross this morning um and i was gonna come everything's okay i was gonna come home and then do um a bunch of reading for dinner or after dinner um and i kind of like for 20 minutes forgot that katie henry's doing a live chat in tbr and beyond so i'm gonna do that and i've i thought i got like two steps slightly farther out of the BTS hole I have fallen down to be like a functional human being adult. And I don't know what happened today, but that I fell right back down on the ground. So I have like 20 minutes before the chat. So I'm going to binge a bunch of BTS and Watson's chasing his tail. All right. And I'm having kind of a cheat couple of days because everything's just been busy at work. So I'm having some sushi for dinner. And, yeah. And after the chat, who knows? In all likely, I want to be real. I want to read The Fiery Cross. It's not that I don't want to read it. I am just obsessed with BTS right now. So, in all honesty, I'll probably just get off and start re-binging a bunch of BTS music videos. So, uh, we'll see. I'll let you know if I get any more reading done. Hi, everyone. It is Friday now. I actually have gotten a ton of reading done today. On the Fiery Cross, I was able to do lots of listening, especially today. Um, and then I actually did quite a bit of reading before work today, too. So, um, I have about... Let's check. I think it was 80 pages left. So, should be able to finish that tonight, actually. Because I was actually super productive today. And quickly finish editing and throw this vlog up um and i will have the tuesday video is going to be um oh, my september tbr it's going to be a little bit late i think everything coming out this month just because of the month uh and because i forgot last weekend about the video and everything starts snowballing very quickly um i also probably i haven't like 100 percent made my decision yet i probably won't vlog for the month of september i have so much work um september is the month where Everyone starts going back to school and everyone starts attending regular meetings again. And we have a conference. 
and we have several things that I have to do, like, as an outreach work for, like, Orange Shirt Day, and it's just a lot. So, well, I'll have the regular, like, Sunday review videos and the Tuesday videos for sure, but I may do either one, a vlog every other week, or just not at all. I just don't know that I'll have the editing time. Um, so, you may only get two videos a week, which I feel like is still a really good deal. Um, so yeah, gonna finish the Fiery Cross gonna chill um tonight i nothing came in the mail for me and yeah i will see you all on sunday actually sunday's probably gonna be a short video too because i only read two books this week because bts distraction but that's life people have other interests sometimes too especially when like south korea invade your mind Oh my god, I lied. One last thing very quickly. Um, I just wanted to like insert this little picture here. That that was like a very sweet gift that I got from Annie Sullivan, the author from A Touch of Gold. Um, and she said like, thanks for all the promo you've been doing and all that stuff. So just very big thank you to her if she watches these videos. The items are incredibly sweet. I actually like the bracelet in there. The metal ones didn't fit me, but my coworker saw them and was like, oh my god, can I have them? And I'm happy I'm able to give out some of that stuff actually at our conference. So make sure to pick up the bold book. It's a King Midas retelling and there's lots of pirates and adventure in it. And you can see my review I've done of it before. And actually I think it's on sale right now on Amazon US for like $12 for the hardcover, which is a pretty good deal. So if you haven't read it yet, try and get it at your library or try and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs>